Mutation of the eyes. That is the greatest complication. Oh my. Oh! Ah! Ultimate hit. Oh my god, Greater Brothers. <gasps> Yes, guys, what's going on? It's Spessy here, and I think this deck is an instant classic. I've played one game with it, but it's a Mage NR deck using Cosimo. And honestly, I don't even think it's bad. I actually think it's good. I'm deadly serious, by the way. So Cosimo is obviously Malaspina, the, the Mr. Hablo reveal. It's going to transform adjacent units into random units that cost one provision more. And Chad and I were thinking, and someone in chat suggested, Philippa, it's a Mage. You can play it in a Mage deck. And yes, of course, it's Philippa. You can transform Philippa into a 13 provision unit. That's one thing you can do. But added to that, also Alza, um, whatever Alza spawns, like if he spawns like a 13 provision card or 12 provision card, you can upgrade it as well. But then it gets even better because Idrin is spawning one power copies. So let's say, for example, I spawn in like a 10 provision card of Alza or a nine provision card using triangle within a triangle. So let's say I spawn in a nine provision card Alza spawns one in. Idrin spawns in a one power copy of it. I could then use Mas Malaspina to transform it up to a 10 provision card. Kind of seems like a good little combo. And all this works really well together as well because mobilization plus Idrin is kind of nuts. Added to that, like the spell cards for Alza kind of pick themselves. You've got forbidden magics, all right? Which is really nice with both Idrin and Alza because it's a spell. You've got a Neuromancy, which obviously can shoot to your assault. The triangle within a triangle is kind of a banger. You've got double thunder, double packed to keep your engines alive. Added to that, you've got the mage synergy with the adepts and the spell weavers. And you've got the archers for this mobilization leader target. So you, it just all works together so nicely. Added to that, we've got uh, Queen Adelia for more spawns off Idrin. We've also got reinforcements for more spawns. Of course, of course we have the best card in the game, the MV Pella. And then we just put a few fours in. So it's probably a knight. And the last two fours, you're probably looking at a couple of royal guards. And you might want to play around with using engineering solution as your stratagem as well. You probably do for the archers. Guys, this deck is scenes. What a deck, mate. How could this ever be bad? So Idrin is going to spawn one power copies of Revenants off Forbidden Magic. And then if we ever like actually spawn another Revenant, he's spawning more Revenants. Um, also, he's going to spawn anything Alzapals as a one power copy. He also works with your leader. So if Idrin's in the back row, we could have like an Archer. Let's say we go Adelia into an Archer, for example. So the Archer's got a shield. We then play Idrin and leader straight away. And suddenly we've got three Archers in the back row. Malaspina can be used on on Philippa. Anything Alza copies as well. And obviously, like, anything comes off of Idrin at one strength too. So, guys, and let's not forget, Alza, mage, right? Malaspina, mage. Idrin, mage. Like, come on, guys. How is this deck not a banger? How is this deck not a banger deck? Like, I played one game. We lost by a couple of points. But I'm in pro rank as well. Let's not forget. Um... And we drew, we missed like all the cards. I'm not even joking. We missed all the cards. Okay, we drew some cards, but most of them we didn't. Let's go, Malaspina. Let's have it. We're up against Shield Wall, so it's the battle of the NR decks. A superb specimen, truly. Okay. And we have got the engineering solution, which is a nice little start, I think, for us here. Uh, we can just sit. Sit our archer behind it. it means it can't be taken out a that easily. We've got a couple of royal guards, which is a nice target off assault. Let's kick one. We've got the MV Pella. Let's kick the MV Pella. I know. Can't believe it either. What was I thinking? And let's kick the adept because um, the archers aren't mages. And let's just start off with a good, honest archer behind a engineering solution. Oh, almost misclicked. We have also got the Alza. Pella could have been a keep instead of the Royal Guard, honestly, but I feel like defenders less likely to come down round one. More likely to be a card at a later point. So we've got the Philippa and the Malaspina combo. Uh, we could have also kept the Adept, honestly, to assault out a um, Bellweaver. The Dun Banner comes in. We're just going to clean this up. The question is, on this cleanup, do we go for an Archer to clean it up, or do we go for a Forbidden Magic? I think Archers still want to be our main target, so I think we just clean up with a uh, Forbidden Magic. 
This doesn't get a veil because we don't have a mage on the board. But like already, the deck is just a banger. Like Forbidden Magics with archers and spellweavers is so good. Um, you guys might remember I played an Alza mage list last season that looked very similar. But now the fact you've got Malaspina and Idrin especially. Oh my goodness. Wow. Like why would you not just throw a Malaspina in and a little bit of triangle within a triangle? Like, we're just cleaning up, mate. We've got Thunders. They just work in the deck. We're a control-focused deck. Uh, is there any world we don't just Thunder this? Mm, a superb specimen, truly. Oh, we just Thunder it. We've still got Double Pact, um, just to be safe. You could pick, like, other four provision cards, but I feel like Pact. Just use your... If you don't have Pacts in your deck, you don't want to use Thunders because you're like, oh, but my Alza. Whereas if you've got Double Pact, you're like, yeah, sod it, mate. I've got my Pacts. Just use your thunders when you actually need them, right? The assault comes in from our opponent. This seems like a very, very bad play, really, when we've already got the archer and, and the revenant down. John the Talis. What? What is this play, mate? This is not good. We're just going to try and hold on to our assault here. Let this archer keep ticking along. Maybe I'm going to get clapped by Iron Sace. I'm going to regret my life choices, but. Not without good reason. They call me stern. We don't want to use the assault, mate, I'll be honest. I don't want to play the archer either. Like, Assault seems just like such a mistake to play because we want to actually win this round. I think this is honestly our last card we're going to play. How about a Nier for a Quedwini Knight? I think it's always a Nero. Guess reinforcements could be okay, but Let's just do this. It's our pass. We're out of here. There's no way our opponent plays a card here. I don't think. Obviously, we would have had more tempo with the assault, but I'm basically saying I just want to win without playing the assault. So we want to bleed in round two against Shield Wolf for sure. First say is super important in these kinds of matchups. What's the max time V can be summoned? No idea, mate. Is the plan here to combo Idrin with Alza? Well, Idrin just combos with everything because it combos with our leader, it combos with the daily, it combos with reinforcements. Um, but also Idrin combos with Alza, which also means Masi Malaspina comes in as well of anything that's spawned at one strength. But also, like, if you pull something with Alza, and you're like, ah, oh, this is like a, let's say we get a Geralt Igni, we can be like, yo, Malaspina, just come transform this geezer for me. Give me, like, an old spear tip, you know? Something to that effect. And they're all mages as well, so they all synergize with our spellweavers. That's a follow. Alright, round one secured. We want to find the Idrin. Obviously, we've got the Alza. The Pact is another spell, which is always nice. The Reinforcements is really good for another spawn. So we've got two spells, but we could also just go for whatever it's called. I think we kick the Reinforcements, seeing as we don't have Idrin. We find a Forbidden Magic, so we've got three spells now. What if we actually want to kick the Assault? The I think we actually want to kick the Archer and we want to Assault for it. Uh, it's kind of awkward, our sequencing here. So basically, we want Alza to be down when we are near Amancy, right? But we also want Idrin for our leader charge. We basically just don't quite have the right cards in our hand. Like, we would have liked Idrin in hand here. We don't have to be near for it. We could have just done with an extra spell. I wonder if we just go Spellweaver, but I mean... Go Spellweaver first, sod it. 
I'm honestly just going to commit and play the Alza. If the king demands ahead, I'm giving yours. All greed mode. You get a this is probably going to get clapped by Selkirk. And we're not going to get our card back. But we've got to try. So obviously you could just put a defender in this deck. Instead of like the triangle within a triangle. You could also try ditching reinforcements and Pella to, to get a defender in. Nice! We're still we're still kicking. Right, so now we are Nero. Oh boys, it's actually happening. Now we are Nero for Idrin. Oh! Where do we want to play Idrin though? We want to play in back row, right? The reason being is our archers are our leader target. And we need them back row, right? I think we still will go for the drummer here. So now we've got the Alza and we've got the Idrin combo. And now we leader. And we get three archers. Like, look at this play. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Oh! How is this fair? Oh my god. How is this fair? I don't know which one uh, Idrin will spawn. If it's a Revenant or if it's um, the Alza card. We'd probably rather the Revenant. To be fair. We also kind of just want to fill up it here. No, we're fine. We can just clean up here. Should be a Revenant, right? It is a Revenant. It is a Revenant. And we get a Courier. So that's actually really nice we get the Revenant. We'd much rather that. Our opponent does not know what to do, mate. They could not be happy about this turn of events. Oh, I should be hitting the, uh, the Royal Guard for the Revenants, right? Like, look at the point difference, mate. Like, what are you going to do about it, Sunshine? Pact. Oh, yes! The emissary. Get in. Just what I always wanted. So what are we going to Maspina with? What are we going to Maspina next turn? And obviously we're doing this. It's actually quite good, the emissary. Our revs. I guess we just transform this revenant, right? But maybe we can't do that anymore. So our rose a little bit full. Mm, our rose looking a little bit full, chat. Truly. Coria. I mean, the Coria is just a banger card. It's five base power. Doesn't seem like Coria is the motive. What are we going to transform, chat? Is there such thing as a 14 provision card? You reckon... Alza for a 12, the old spear tip. We could have, yeah, okay. That's got to be right. Go for the old spear tip. Like, by the way, just look at all the synergy. It's actually scary. Oh my goodness. And the big fat finisher on the forehead. Guys, how is this deck so good? It's just, it's just, I told you, you guys didn't believe me, chat. Chat didn't believe me that this deck was actually good. Oh my god. Selkirk, don't hit the Alza. I mean, we can just hit the Draug for a 14 provision. this card by the way what <laughs> no way this did not just happen oh my lord this did not just happen
I'm lost for words, chat. The owls are into the old spear tip, the Philip into Kel Palace. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> the Kel Palace. Yes. <laughs> oh, we've peaked. We've actually peaked in the in the world of Gwen. Oh my god, this expansion is something else. Patience is not a virtue I am known to have. Double cross. And I can go. I sand. I'm thinking I just lead with a spell weaver and I could honestly a Dania the Adept. I'm pretty content with that plan. And the right one is Crozier. I don't see the Crozier one as much. I do it a little bit, but this is actually Habla. Like, it actually is Habla. Come on. It must be. I know it's not, but it must be. All right. So, really slow. It's an interesting first play. This one is not uh, what we were thinking. Rub comes to the way. Okay. Oh, for this one on the right. All right, for Havla. Um, we could just go Spellweaver and then a Daily the Adept. This just gets Tony jousted, so does this. I mean, all, the, all of it gets Tony jousted. Let's just go Royal Guard then. We would kind of like to hold the Adelia until we have um, Edrin anyway. Fine by me. Mm, a superb specimen, truly. I kind of like the idea of playing the Adept first, because if this dies, then it doesn't really matter. Because we play Spellweaver and this dies, and this is useless. Red Weapons is a banger card, I must admit. We're never passing here, right? We just need to push. Okay, this the PA moment is. This is where we adapt from assault. This is a really weird moment in this game. I think the adept's good. Hey, Carol. This is a need one, probably. Honestly, I'm fine with having more of these cards on top of my deck. What's our next play? We're losing two points. I think it's probably just a, an archer, right? I mean, we could try and hold the archer. We never want to pass here. Maybe I should have taken the archer. Like we never want to pass, right? I think I think this, I've misplayed this by not a daily ring sooner. Okay. Thunder should be enough too, right? Okay, this seems good. We kept the arrow. Obviously, we assaulted, which is kind of peak, but. 
How's our opponent deal with um Adrian locks it probably. The adepts can go, the royal guard's nice. Ours is really nice. Ah, it's not really the hand for it, but we could also just a Neuromancy for like a spell. Okay. We never pass, right? Or do we? Is this a good pass, secretly? A long round against coated weapons seems pretty fine, actually. Against coated weapons against this deck. Uh, obviously, I'm scared of the um, Holgrim. We have no tool punish, so they could do the cheesy thing where they just like go minus a card. I think we just pass, though, chat, honestly. Like, they can't really spawn any more cards apart from infiltrators. Top of our deck, so we should actually find some nice mulligans, whereas if we push, we just top deck into rubbish. They give us a coated weapons, they get a raw guard. What? Okay. I'll take a coated weapons, guys. And they put Pact on top. I mean, it gives our. A Pact's actually good, it gives our Owls of Valley. Coated weapons is, is an improvement on raw guard, I would say, too. Spellweaver seems kind of bad. Nice. This hand's pretty juicy. Could be better. I think I should have kept the Royal Guard, right? Royal Guard kind of slaps with Alza, but... I mean, they don't really have any 6 removal. It's more just locks that we're concerned with. Let their blood break their bones and spirit. No Pella. Uh, do we ever just not lead with Alza here? I'm pretty sure we always just go Alza, right? Back crow, by the way. We don't want Keltalus, I don't think. Owls is such a cool card too, mate. Love it. Joachim. Don't high roll into something, mm, please. A superb specimen. Don't high roll a lot. I will actually cry. Raw guard. Okay. So we're always just a neuromancing for Idrin here. This back row is going to fill up real quick, but that's Kelly. Guys, look at the combo. Oh my god. Look at the combo. Oh no, I wasn't supposed to lead it this turn. Oh, I'm trolling. I misplayed chat. I was too busy looking at the combo to forget how the card works. I was supposed to lead it next turn. RIP! Oh well, we can reinforcements still. <gasps> Good god. What have we done? We've also got the Yoakim Adelia combo. Oh, we could get Alza. I've actually got a really good chance of Alza with Malaspina here. Watch, we don't really have that many spells left. Yeah, missed one Archer. Bad face. The fact that we're kind of inclined to back row Alza is kind of painful, honestly. Wait, what? Why would you poison this? I'm so confused. Why would you poison that? I don't understand. Damn, missing an arch is painful. I don't understand why our opponent poisoned this. Wait, what? You're gonna poison the archer over these two cards? Are you serious? Okay. 
Yeah, the Keltalis off of Nero is pretty disgusting. It's not ideal. Because obviously we want to play this front row and this back row, but... And obviously Alza is currently bricked. Oh my god, they gave us an Alza. <laughs> what? Archers cannot, no, unfortunately. Seems like the play, right? Oh, do we fill up a first? 13, we have the same issue of getting a Keltalus, right? Oh my, oh my god. Oh. <laughs> if only we had a, <laughs> a way of locking them. <laughs> Cosimo is a banger card, honestly. Oh, kill an archer, please. Kill two archers, honestly. Kill like 17 archers, actually. Oh! Yes! Oh my god, they're actually freeing up room for us. Oh, they're not. Oh my god, what has this game turned into, chat? So we, we get a new leader ability? Oh my god. Oh my god. We're still Roloch, though. The Kel, Tullis, and Nero has just absolutely messed us up this whole game. What is this game, mate? So we still don't want to pack. Coated weapons is fine, but we'd lose value on it, and we kind of want to clog their deck, I guess. I guess we just assault for... Probably the quad running night, but kind of, kind of bad too. This deck is an experience. Uh, why do we have two owls? Are they coated weapons or owls are for some reason? Best not to ask questions about our opponent, honestly. Oh, not my Keltalis. How will I ever recover? Maybe we should have been targeting this, though, honestly. Things I don't have a tool punish. Are we actually going to lose? <laughs> There's no way, right? We can surely snipe this card, right? Yeah. Fine. There's no way, right? We lose. It's so annoying that I don't have space. We had to play this card back row though, because of um, the, the Keltala situation. Okay, I mean, if they clear more room, though, we can still get more value. Oh, my God. Let's go. I'm on my knees. I just cannot believe what, what I'm seeing, chat. Are the mm, usurp. A superb it's not going to be enough, sunshine. Let's go!
Seems like a banging Philippa, honestly. Seems like a decent thunder, honestly. I think elves are probably a really good way of playing movement. Like, why has this card got zeal, but the the Skellige version doesn't? The Skellige version is so busted. Like, the Skellige card doesn't have a zeal. What? It has zeal. Why? Like, why does that card... So confused. And stuff watching we miss Cosimo, because obviously... Philippa Cosimo is kind of nuts. Whenever an enemy unit moves... Oh, that's quite scary, seeing as I've got archers. He's still... No, this, the card's still busted, though. Considering we've got a handful of archers, it's not really what we're looking for, is it? I think we had Dahlia or Spellweaver here. Yeah, I could see that War Machine, actually. I still think it's too good, though, to have triple thinning. I mean, if other if other decks could thin as consistently, it wouldn't be as bad, I don't think. I think also dual faction cards just don't really work, to be honest. They're kind of cool, but... Like, look at Prophet Lebioda. It's just super, super, super sad. Like, the Northern Realms ones are just super sad. Like, Temple Guards you would never use in Syndicate in a million years. Oh, my man respects... My man respects the Cosimo. Do you reckon they know it's me, then? Because they wouldn't obviously be stream sniping because they wouldn't have gone for it, but they could know it's me. Yo, Jax. My beard's actually looking pretty strong for once. We want to play a, around the movement. Yeah, now we can clear this up like our Adepts aren't as looking as sad. We could obviously go for another spell weaver, but let's just go for the Adept. Um, If you uh, log out of GOG, mate, and log back in, it works. Whoa, leader charge. Okay, so we just need to deny the... Whatever it's called. The Ellerine. Ellerine. Okay, Vanessa comes in. We're in cruise control here still. Like, we never pass here. Your wish is my duty. I don't know even value. It still can kill one of our cards, but... Oh, guys, I love this deck. Like, charge decks with mages, I've always been a huge sucker for Aratus or Adepts and Spellweavers. I love a daily. I've always loved Archers. Like, when this card was first revealed, I was so gassed. Love it. I love Sheila. I love Revenants. I love Alza. I love Pact when this card was revealed, I was gassed. It's just... Oh. Just a little bit of me, mate, this deck. Just is. I think we can probably ditch the Pact. We always ditch packed out of this hand. <laughs> That's a good one, Feldy. I love it. Yeah, Death Mold is just pretty bad, unfortunately. I, I wish he would get reworked, mate. 
I mean, we kind of got NR Mages this expansion, honestly, mate. I just need a few reworks of cards like Death Mold. I feel like Kira as well is kind of meh. And Mages, because again, she's a card you want. Like, the old Kira would be so nice right now that can play mm, spells. Oh, I'd love a it. Superb specimen. Like, if, if Menno can play tactics, why can't Kira play spells, guys? Pray for Kira. If Menno can play tactics, why can't Kira play spells? I don't get it. I never have. Thunder's pretty good. I mean, it's only Alza we're looking for. I guess we just keep this hand, honestly. Okay, so we just play Idrin now, right? Before Yaven can get us. Why was Kira changed? The reasoning was because they wanted, you know, it restricted their the amount of spells they could print. But that's also the reason why NR has loads of random spell cards, like Forbidden Magics, because you used to be able to play them with her. The reasoning's kind of flawed because Meno can still play Tactics. Because Meno can play Tactics, right? So Meno can play Marching Orders, Meno can play a uh, Rule Decree. Hero that could play spells would be so lovely, mate. Look at this combo! Dirty. Obviously, the waylay is coming in, which will clean up Idrin. So these should be safe for another turn. I think we just go for the... Go to kill this. Like, Yaven plus... Yeah, Yaven's kind of just banging here, right? But if we didn't go for Idrin straight away, like we wouldn't have this combo, so it's just worth it. And the thing that's also great about this is Idrin demands respect too. So they're going to go Yaven on this geezer, I guess. We've still got double archer, chilling. Happy days. We definitely respect this card a lot. Definitely worried about the Gaten. Hmm. Gaten could go, kind of go off here, right? The Sentry's gone, so that's something. This deck's actually not running Heatwave, but that's because I'm just reading it on mean cards. Oh, this card's scary. I mean, we can deal with it, so it's not really actually a big deal. No actually fine. This card's actually not even good here. And look at Sheila. Like, imagine not playing Sheila, right? So we can transform Sheila. Um, so we should still play Sheila here, right? But we're kind of just filling the same row. I feel like Sheila... Maybe it's just an archer that we're going to transform, though. So obviously, we're never transforming any of these. We pull off an arrow. Maybe a knight. Guess we should maybe play Sheila here still. I think it's fine. We just want to try and clean up as many of these as possible. Oh, nice! This is not a nice play from our opponent. Have we seen any neutral cards? Nice, this is what we were playing around. Right 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now we just do this. So we're not going to spawn a revenant, right? Is of the Malaspina. Do we just go for the archer or the Sheila? You probably should just go for the archer, right? I say you, I mean we. Opponent can't be happy that they've just been memed on. I don't even know that we're playing Owls and Malaspina. Like, imagine they just quit now and they don't get to see our Malaspina. Like, come on. Archer's safer. Ice Giant exists as well. We ever lose. I mean, in theory, it's actually... Oh, no, it's not safer. We, we've kind, we kind of could have screwed ourselves here. Nice. <laughs> Let's go. Not gonna use the damage ping. Does this board seem darker? It does seem quite dark actually. Again, don't pass against an elf guard, mate, especially when they start putting aristocrats down. Aristocrat. Aristocrat. Obviously, the Leo is a threat. And uh, Invo is not as much. Ah, wait, I've played right into off mate, you're right. Evil Eye Geezer. Probably a troll. Are you about to get Evil Eyed? Probably just trolled that. Am I getting Evil Eyed, chat? He's like an Evil Eye kind of guy. Yeah, I've just trolled this game, right? Such a bad play. It's actually a really easy card to play around. Ay 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 ay. Interesting. Never mind. Mm, a superb specimen. True. Philippa, we should get out. I feel like Leo from hand could have still been an option rather than Roderick. Alice Throne Room? Yeah, that does sound like a great show actually. Triss seems like a weird card. I think we're just losing, right? I've just thrown. I just threw this game, I think. It's fine. Do we pass or do we just still play for Everton teams out in a minute. I'm really not looking forward to. We pass, we lose, right? The team is doing pretty good. I mean, it's a meme, but yeah, the idea... Asimo does just work because we use Philippa, which he can be put to, he can trade to 13. I've got a Ronvid at the moment, but I think honestly Ronvid's probably just a waste of provisions. Yeah, I just threw this game right. I think I'm just going to forfeit now. Get everyone done with. I should never have lost this game, I trolled. Mm, a superb specimen, truly. Guys, is it time for a different deck or do we, do we play on? Let's head to the deck builder and just change a few things. Mm, I think no defender is a huge specimen, troll, right? Truly. Would we agree that we just should have a defender? We did originally. Also this card. I don't, mate, but I could build one. I feel like we just play Defender instead of 
Jean and Ronvid mid rangey cards. I don't have to, let me just put a second pack in. To honestly, I thought I was running two packs already. What's the idea of the deck? This deck we're playing, the idea is it's Mage NR, pretty much. And Alza, Idrin, fit in the deck really well. And then we've just put in a, uh, a Simo instead of a triangle within a triangle for a bit of fun. But also, the Simo just Nothing is a free win against Impostor Viper decks, no? Man, it's so much Nilfgaard on the ladder right now. My goodness. What if it's Viper? We just win. It's free. We just transform the Viper. That's the best thing about it. It's a super easy matchup. Do you guys see where this is going, by the way? Honestly, oh, so I'm just going to shield it up. We'll play around Amnesty. Do you guys see where this is going? It plays around Tony Just too. Do you guys see where this is going, by the way? Look at this dirty front row. Uh oh, we could get uh, Cal Palace. I've not thought this through. I didn't really think when I played Philippa that I was going to be, <laughs> you know, too worried though about this. It wasn't really in my, in my, um, I didn't use Idrin. So Idrin is just busted in this, in mobilization. If you have a defender at least, because you can play Idrin and then you can use leader and get bare archers. Also like Revenant spawn, also Alza spawns, give you extra Alza things at one strength. All right, here we go. Pain is the body's natural. Oh! oh, it's so good. Six. Then 15 point because 16 point because it proc spell weaver. Oh my god. Let's go. Oh my days. Hey, bribery player. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, chat. It's just a free loss, mate. Like, we've literally just getting destroyed by Nilfgaard scum. Playing Locks and Imposter when I've got literal Idrin and Alza, mate. Come on, guys. And we're going first every time as well. Like, what are we actually supposed to do? What happened? I played Defender, they invoked it. Now they can just imposter our Alza and Idrin. Just broken. And they also have a defender for next round. We pass, we lose. It's as simple as that, right? We pass, we lose. We may as well try and lose in, you know, glorious fashion. It's 
pieces. This guy's is <laughs> so good. Oh, it's so good, chat. Oh, no. Oh, no, mate. I mean, we can just pass now, right? We might actually win now. Masquerade Ball is gone. This Masquerade Ball is super premature. We still have a chance, honestly. We need to find a Neuromancy into Assault. That's going to be really important. Yeah, Leader and that in one turn. Obviously, they've got Defender. Yeah, we're missing Neuromancy. That was bad. I wonder how good um, Reinforcements actually is, if it's worth it. It is worth it. Have a look at that. Like falling stars. <clears throat> My friend will tear to pieces. What a voice line. I love it. Ah, uh, it's not terrible though, but yeah. Let the hunt begin. The sky will burn with the eternal fire. Uh oh. Maybe all these pings were a troll. So annoying we didn't find a Neuromancy, right? I tried to click this, oh my god. Thank goodness it doesn't work. What's the last card then? Like, imagine we had a Neuromancy, it's such a free win. I reckon it's, if they played Invo already, Invo's gone. That's a dub, right? That's a dub, right? Guys, that is a dub. Like, let's be honest, we've just absolutely ended this guy's career. That's a dub. Oshi, Hamez is injured. Classic. Wow, we're going second. I feel like this has not happened in a really long time. So I'm not sure if it's correct for us to... Um, we honestly probably want to go first in this matchup too. I'm not sure if it's correct to have the wrong vid. Like, honestly, we could just ditch Pella and have a Sheila instead of Ron vid. Your wish, my duty. Maybe this should have been a royal, uh, an archer. Madrid dub in an hour, bang. Enjoy, mate. Have a look at that. Like falling stars. Mm. 
That's a bad brook, sir. We're just trying to compete in this round. We're never going to beat it in round one, but... Ooh, this pulls Alza. No defender. Actually quite good. Fall overboard and I'm not jumping in after you. If Derby have a derby, Derby have a derby. Pull the derby, mate. Why is this squirrel play? He trolling. Love to just do this in one. Assault to it. Definitely does. Is assault on Ronvid enough? So I've got what three points. So I'm at fourteen. Ronvid just has to be fine in this deck chat, right? Like we play. We play Revenants anyway, for a bit of magic, so we can spawn like a million and we can just farm wrong with. And we just want to like, find the archers, so we can just open with that. Um, I want to say Spellweaver's decent. And a Metho. We have to use this card, right? Old Donamir. They just eats the heat wave. Like, what a guy. So many of them. I'd have to aim to... So Idrin could get Parasite, right? So let's just go for the Idrin second. Take the leader value off of him. Oh, let's go, chat. Let's go. This is an emote every time. Idrin is instantly one of my favorite cards, by the way. You leave me but one option. To crash. Such a shame we don't have the Alza, really. I mean, we could actually... <laughs> then it comes in. We played around it. We could still go for Alza, honestly. We think it's the play. Still got two spells. I think it is the play. What else are we going to do? You get me. Is Alza the play? Nah, I think Alza's slightly trolling. Then again. It's also kind of not trolling. Because I've got like Pact and Thunder and I can then just... I mean like, look at this. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Regroup! Now we can uh, Cosimo these two if we want. We could go for the, the Alza for a 12. We always go for the odd spear tip here, right? Yeah, I definitely want to try costume with the... Uh, this. Oh, let's go. We had her earlier too.
Why is the archer not dead? Uh, I don't know what you mean. The Ozzer roll. Little do they know we've got the juice of juicy finisher. What do we go for, chat? The Alza or the blue straps? It's always the Alza, right? We always go for the the value. Oh, it's it. Oh my God, Greater Brothers. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> Ron vid into Greater Brothers. What? Mm, by the way, <laughs> specimen, truly. Ron vid into Greater Brothers combo. It's the new meta breaker. Imagine if this was another ten. Guys, this looks like Habla so much. Am I deluded or am I just correct? Worst game. Wow, we won on Cosimo, right? Cosimo just wins us the game.